Hi, I'm Tony Odisho and today I'm going to show you how to curl a curly bob haircut uh, into beautiful waves. Well, first what I did with um, our guest right here, I put an anti-defrizzant and actually blew out her natural curls out to make the hair nice and smooth and ready to be curled with a curling iron. I'm going to proceed by again spraying a little bit of heat protectant so the curl can last for a long time. And I always usually start from the left side going and rotating to the right side. So I'll grab big sections. And curl away from the face, leaving the ends to make it a little more natural. Here we have our first sections. The bigger the section is, the bigger the curl is. So this is really determined how big the curl you want. Um, I'm using about three quarter of an inch of curling iron. Again, it's ceramic to protect the hair from any um, damage. And here we have it. I'm taking about a, a thick um, section right here. Um, I'm using a three quarter of an inch curling iron. But what determines the curl size is also how much hair you take. The bigger the section is, the bigger the curl is. Again, leaving the ends a little bit to give it a little more natural look. And here we have the second one. And I'll be rotating all the way around using the same technique. It is essential to use product to protect your hair against um, heat tools. and any mechanical damage. Mechanical damage, it means flat irons, curling irons, blow dryers, especially if you're doing this all the time, almost every day. You need to use the product to protect your hair against any mechanical damage. Typically, products say that they have heat protectants in them. They're meant to protect your hair against heat. or hot tools. When you get to the back, you can start rotating your curl to make it more natural. So I'm doing one to the right and one to the left. Most people who has bob, they think they cannot wear their hair curly, but actually it's very flattering. Usually about 10 seconds per section. That's how long you want to leave it. We're going to be doing the last minute touches on it. We're going to be using the OCS Smooth Therapy, and you only really need about this much. Rub it to get some heat in it, and then we can go ahead and separate it. You can start separating the sections to give it more natural look. I still have the pomade in my hand, so if you need more, it's always better to add more product than put it all at once. So always add a little bit at a time rather than putting all the product at once. Beautiful. And this is a simple way to curl curly bob into beautiful beachy wave.